The Brothers War is available now. Yes. Wow, they just like visit the store to purchase packs. You must buy packs. Buy packs. There's packs in the store. I don't know if you know how magic works, but you buy packs in the store. Give us your money. Get started. The Brothers War is now on sale. Thank you. So, what is going on here? Oh, we've got the new little chart. Right. So let's check out the store immediately. So first off, they've added this golden pack progress. So for every nine packs or for every 10 packs you purchase, you get a golden pack. And golden packs contain six rares, each with a normal chance of upgrading to mythic. So, so you could just get six rares. Um, you could get six mythics too i believe what this the golden packs do is that they um so they look at the current standard set so all the way from innistrad midnight hunt to now and they try to give you rares from the current standard set if you have all the rares or mythics from the current standard set they will give you older rares or mythics that aren't in standard but it's going to try to fill your vault progress um from the current standard first and then it'll go or i believe no you get gems if it's not so this is just standard um specific i don't believe they go older i think you get gems straight up uh, these however are absolute fucking horse shit i think this is one of the dumbest things that magic arena has ever done um selling wild cards straight up for cash is aggressive and horrendous and i think that arena needs to look themselves in the fucking mirror and decide what they're going to do uh, with their economy because their economy is essentially broken and this is not helping sure it gets players direct contact with wild cards that they want they get to choose nine dollars for four cards that you can't even dust to get different cards in the future like it's just appalling it's just dumb um it's not going to do it like if they want the cash that bad they need to sell something other than cards like they need to sell 30th anniversary boosters or something like this is just such a fucked up approach to and i'm cursing a lot i apologize but this is such a dumb approach to um monetizing the player base it's not even just packs like we want the wild cards from opening packs make the wild the packs better make the packs cheaper make the packs um give the packs more cards like do anything but this and i think you're on the right track i hope i hope this goes away really fast um and the problem is is i know that people are gonna buy it they have that you know, they uh, they have that Rafine deck that they just need to finish. All these new cards just came out, so they've, they're they salivating, waiting to get, you know, a full playset of Teferis, or they still need two more Rafines to finish their Esper deck. Like, people are going to spend the $20 to get four Mythic wild cards. That And that's horrendous. Like, I can... I would much rather not do that i would much rather they came up with a smarter way to help players invest than just hand cash here's a four ca wild cards that you can choose like morally they think they're in the clear because you know you get to choose whatever cards we're not telling you what cards it is it's not like it's 20 dollars for four random cards 
it's $20 for four cards of your choice. So it's your fault if you pick cards that you don't want to use in the future. It's just, it's, it's just bankrupt. The whole thing is, there's no good reason for it. It doesn't feel good from a consumer perspective. It doesn't feel good from a collector's perspective. Like no one wants to spend $20 to fill four collection spots or someone who's building decks. Like no, it's, it's incredibly tone deaf. Um, yeah. Yeah. Don't buy these. I hope they go away. I hope the arena economy team uh, wakes up.